a home for Paleolithic tribes, a refuge from religious persecution, and the site of guerrilla warfare. These are just some of the highlights of Bransk. But there's loads more to talk about here in another episode of 7 Facts. Bransk. Have you ever heard of it? This is a small oblast, which is a federal subject of Russia, about the size of Belgium lying in the East European plain. More accurately, it sits on the border with both Ukraine and Belarus. This is an almost completely Russian region, with 97% of the 1.3 million people that live here having Russian ethnicity. Ok, that's enough statistics, let's see what hidden facts we can find in this small corner of European Russia. Bransk has been a home to Slavic tribes for a very long time. Since the 9th century AD, we can find evidence of their culture in these parts. In fact, the city of Bransk is one of the oldest in the region, having been established in 985 AD. The region was under the rule of several Slavic early states and was sacked several times by the Mongols, which of course left utter devastation behind. However, once that was over, Bransk switched hands between Moscow and Poland-Lithuania until the latter was defeated and Bransk remained permanently a Russian possession. One of the toughest times the oblast went through was in more recent years. During World War II, Germany invaded Bransk and as a result of this conflict, the region once again suffered great destruction. After its liberation though, there was an extensive restoration project that managed to bring Bransk back on track. The city of Bransk is the capital of the oblast. Even though the city has been around for well over a thousand years, its development as a large economic center began only with the Industrial Revolution. From the late 1700s, Bransk transformed from a regional trading center into a manufacturing and industrial city. On a side note, in 1812, Bransk was one of the cities where Napoleon's imperial army met and fought the Russians. Nowadays, Bransk is still a large industrial center, but it's also a place of culture and education, packed with universities, theaters and museums. Bransk is not necessarily a top tourist destination of Russia, but it is one of the most important urban centers of the region. Before we get to the next fact, I'd like to ask you something. This video isn't sponsored, so perhaps you'd consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. If you still enjoy my content, go visit my Patreon page and help this channel out. Right, with that said, let's go to fact number 4. So, we already know a tiny bit of the Slavic history of Bransk, but the history of this place goes much, much further back. The oldest sites of human activity in Bransk date back to 23,000 years ago. This is way back in the Paleolithic era of human history. The traces we find belong to a culture we call Gravet, a collection of tribes that made their transition from hunters to settlers. One of their most characteristic features is the presence of Venus statues, early statuettes depicting women. In Bransk, one such statue was found, the Venus of Elisevich, carved from mammoth ivory some 14,000 years ago. The same Elisevich site is also where some of the earliest recognized dog remains were found, dating to 15,000 years before our times. In 1986, on April 26, one of the worst human-caused disasters in history occurred not far from Bryansk, the infamous Chernobyl disaster. As a result of that accident, large parts of the oblast were contaminated with radioactive material. Contamination from the Chernobyl disaster was scattered irregularly depending on weather conditions and efforts were indeed made to mitigate the situation. Among these efforts was the deliberate seeding of clouds to cause rain in order to remove radioactive particles from clouds heading towards highly populated areas. But there's only so much we can do. In the case of Bransk, contamination was basically unavoidable. To this day, roughly 16% of the people living in Bransk, that's about 220,000 people, inhabit areas with above normal radiation levels. As you probably already know, the vast majority of Russian faithfuls belong to the Orthodox half of Christianity. However, you may not know that Orthodoxy also has its divisions just like other Christian denominations. 
The Old Believers, or Old Ritualists, are a group of Christians that follow the Byzantine rites, like other Orthodox believers, but with one exception. They don't recognize the reforms that took place in 1652, which realigned Russian Christians with the Greek Orthodox Church. These Old Believers have been suppressed and excommunicated, and sometimes endured severe persecutions. So naturally, they grouped together to survive. One of the places they gathered is the town of Klintze, which was established in 1707 by old ritualist peasants, namely the Klinitz family. The settlement developed and became a center for old believers. Klintze is still a stronghold of old believers and a symbol for religious freedom. During World War II, Bryansk was occupied by German troops in 1941. However, in this place, the locals didn't just accept the new rule, they fought back and fought hard. In and around the city of Bransk, there were some 60,000 guerrilla fighters that almost continuously attacked and sabotaged the German army. During these fights though, an enormous amount of damage was caused. In cities, 70% of all houses were destroyed and the villages of Bransk ended up with 111,000 destroyed homes. Factories and institution buildings were also extensively damaged. While the partisans were fighting to liberate their lands, the German invaders had no such preoccupations, so they fought back with complete disregard of civilian objectives. After the end of the war, Bransk was almost completely in ruins and it took many years to rebuild everything. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.